Back in the 30s, the building of the Bay and Golden Gate Bridges was a great opportunity for young documentary photographers. Peter Stackpole, the local kid from Oakland Tech, was only 23 years old when his black and white images of the original Bay Bridge construction launched a long career at Life magazine. He was basically just hanging around the San Francisco waterfront, watching the towers start to go up in the bay, and wishing he could get out there, when one day a, a bridge worker came up to him and said, as he put it, hey kid, why don't you come out with us? You'll get some good pictures. These days, that's obviously not possible. Meet Joseph Blum, 72 years young. I have had people ask me whether I photographed the Golden Gate Bridge and the original Bay Bridge, and I said, I'm old, but I'm not quite that old. <laughs> It's been a while since he graduated from high school, but it hasn't kept him from shooting the entire 15-year project from the first pile drive to the spraying of the last coat of paint this year. Joe might be a bit older than past bridge photographers, but his images are full of youth and vitality. They don't dwell on the unique architectural sculpture of this iconic structure, but rather they celebrate the human touch that built this span. What Joe photographed high above the chilly bay waters was a ballet of sorts, human sweat dancing with cold steel. This structure to me just provides a, a you know, sort of a, a background for the choreography of the, of the work being done. Every single part of this bridge is, is, is hand built. This is maybe early in the 21st century, but it, it, it requires hand labor. You know, even a 1700 deck section, uh, you know, can be influenced by the wind and even by somebody touching it. You can move that thing. Bridge construction has long lured the attention of photographers. Stackpole felt that tug 80 years ago. This is one of the most important groups of documentary photographs by one of the most important documentary photographers of the 20th century. It was these photographs that Stackpole raced to save moments before the 1991 Oakland Hills fire destroyed his home. Years later, when he was in his 80s, he talked about the bridge workers being, they were still heroes to him. He was still in awe of these guys. A sentiment Joseph Blum shares. It's, it's good, honest, respectable work, and that should be honored. They let me in their lives. And, um, you know, in the beginning, I'm sure they, oh, what is this, you know? I'm, do we really need this person in our way? And, you know, I found in a very short period of time, they understood. If they like it, I don't care what anybody else thinks. There's an image in the stack poll show called Quitting Time. At first glance, it appears to show tired workers heading home from a long day on the job. Actually, there are men leaving work early because a colleague had just fallen to his death. In the building of the original span, 28 lives were lost. This is an image that Joseph Blum is grateful he never had to shoot. Last year, at a reception honoring his photography, Blum deflected all the focus back to where he thought it belonged. Whatever you've heard about the bridge, there is nobody in any of these pictures that did anything that wasn't dead on and right the way they were told to do it. There were days they worked 12, 14, 16 hours a day. And it was an honor to be able to, to shoot them. So.